On this week's episode of Science and Star Wars, oh, Maker. Artificial Intelligence. Hey, and welcome to Science and Star Wars, where we explore how close real-world science has come to our favorite Star Wars technology. I'm Anthony Carboni, and joining me once again... Hello, my name is Watson. And this week, you're gonna love this one, we're looking at AI, or artificial intelligence, like Watson, and how it's no longer science fiction or space fantasy, but something that is real and helping us every day. Hey, R3. Droids that run a fictional version of AI are some of the most memorable characters in Star Wars. From K2SO... Are you talking about me? ...to my spirit animal, AP5. You could have told me that before. I just told you now. In real life, AI platforms are doing more than asking our phone to order a pizza or skip to the next song. Proceed 10 meters and turn right. In Pittsburgh, IBM researcher Chieko Asakawa turn right. is working on applying AI to help the visually impaired. Elevator on your right. We developed a navigation app called Navco for the visually impaired. Our app finds your position uh, using beacons in the environment, which assist you to move around location in the real world, such as elevator on your right, obstacles in your left, and so on. That is amazing. I want to know more about how this stuff works, and I know just the person to tell us. So excited to be here in New York with IBM fellows Grady Booch and John Smith. Watson is here, of course. Hello. And we're joined by Anthony Daniel, C-3PO himself. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. This is a very impressive screen. It actually looks like one of our film sets, but of course, that, that's just fantasy. This is real world. If standing next to C-3PO in front of Watson is the real world for you, like I guess it is for me today, <laughs> then yes. Grady, what does this do? Here we're doing fundamental research that advances Watson in a number of dimensions and tries to make it a socially intelligent artificial intelligence. One that can not only reason and learn, but that can also understand and act upon emotional content. Let's have Watson show us. Here is my analysis of the scripts from all of the Star Wars movies as well as information from StarWars.com. So what we see Watson has done is taken the dialogue and it's discerned that C-3PO is a relatively friendly fellow, very tentative in his language, but overall exquisitely agreeable. <laughs> yeah, that sounds exactly like me. I mean, sorry, that sounds like C-3PO. You've got to understand after so many years together, I still get the two of us mixed up. <laughs> How dare you call me that? Watson is able to read and understand millions of documents, papers, articles, tweets, and it uses it to help one make better informed decisions. This is a really big deal to anyone who is involved in an individual human life or perhaps making decisions about millions, if not billions of dollars. I have no need for a protocol droid. Of course you haven't, sir. Not in an environment such as this. So would the ability to understand, for instance, uh, the binary language of moisture evaporators. Would that ever be a part of real-world AI? <laughs> sort of, but it's about more than just language. An important part of communication is our body movement, our language, but also our voice inflection. We call these modalities. We've been teaching computers to understand these multiple modalities so we can better interact with them. Let me give you an example. Hey, hello. It's me. The computer recognizes from C-3PO's body movement, from his language, and from his voice inflection, that he is in quite an emotional state. Oh dear. Agitation. 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 <laughs> Agitation. <laughs> this chart plots the data analysis for the scene. That's fascinating. But listen, seriously, is it possible to create an intelligent droid like C-3PO today? Honestly, we're generations away from doing that. But what we're doing today is taking an artificial intelligence and helping it collaborate with humans, and more importantly, augment human intelligence. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Grady and John, for giving us a glimpse into the future. Thank you, Anthony Daniels, Aww. for coming along for the ride with me. And remember, if you want to see more videos, head to ibm.com slash Star Wars. Agitation. <laughs> <laughs>